So the next kind of nuance that, that I really believe in is this, the slide and squash. So typically the slide and squash is going to happen when D are in the neutral zone. And, and like the slide says, it's, it's usually when you're absorbing uh, three on two or a, an odd man rush, four on two, et cetera. And the key here is anytime the puck is moved, east, west, west, east, left, right, right, left, whatever your verbiage is going to be, the, the strong side D is going to get into the puck carrier. The weak side D is going to come over and get into the dot driver. And obviously you're going to ask, well, that leaves the, the, the weak side forward, the, the dot wide guy wide open. Yes, it does. Just like any system, you're going to have to give up something. But at that point in time, you know now it's very easy that the, the last four checker or your first guy tracking back is going to pick him up. Also, from a goaltending perspective, again, this isn't the only way to play, but it's a way that I've seen success. One of our last years that I was with Niagara, uh, we had dropped our, our goals against by 0.84, which, again, we want to defend playoff hockey, NCAA hockey. The goals are tight. Um, so I just, again, it's something I believe in. But that the flip side is, you know, saying, hey, you're going to leave a guy wide open. Yes, it is. But the goaltender is going to know that your strong side D is going to get into that puck carrier. Your weak side D is coming over. So from an offensive standpoint, that player has to make a skill play through 1D, through 2D, get it to the far side so the goalie can be set. And now he knows where to, to move over. A lot of guys, right, it's very simple. The structures and systems in hockey, everybody's entering usually with, you know, three in the dot lane, the driver, the puck carrier, and adding a fourth. So, again, I think this can, as a general tactic, it will help uh, you coaches and, and us defend against a lot of different guys. Okay, um, attacking forward. So we just talked about slide and squash. And attack forward is, you know, the yin-yang, the cousin, the brother of the slide and squash. Which typically, as it, as it says, the attacking situation is going to happen where you're having to re-gap. You're having to gain lines. Uh, in the neutral zone, blue to blue, red line, or high in your, your D zone. So again, attacking forward and, and sliding squash or yin yang, the brother, but the sliding squash right here, we call it flyers, two on three on two drill. So you can do it at both ends. Puck starts in the middle, can be moved east, west. But again, you see your D, you have to make them set their gap. Okay. They're stationary right now, but as soon as that puck is moved they're getting into the puck carrier you'll see here so again strong side d's into the puck carrier good posture stick on puck our weak side d is into the dot driver again a lot of teams are entering puck carrier dot driver wide dot guy and again you're trying to make a skill play through one guy two guys three guys in this clip our d man cookie gets it okay just like we thought would happen but it, it was all started by our strong side D Brant getting into the puck carrier there. Now you're going to have a second puck. Now it's more game like where there's some speed attacking forward. Same thing. You can see that our D come up with it. So again, just a little drill, very simple. You can do it at both, uh, both ends, but seem to be effective and work for us.